I'll tell you something about women. Women have no respect. No, let me, no, let me explain what I mean. You see, if I just talk now, you take it out of context. Let me explain. Women have capacity to disrespect you. They are wired that way. It's in them. They have capacity. A woman you marry. What is there about you? She has seen everything. What, what, who are you? They have capacity to disrespect you. It is who, who they are. The only thing that will make a woman continually look up to you is when there's something you have she doesn't have. When she needs to make decisions and she run out of ideas, she needs to look up to you to give her one. So stop saying your wife is looking down on you. She's looking down on you because you are down. If you want her to look up to you, come up. There must be something. When you are married to somebody and she still has to make decisions by herself, have to take steps by herself, she, she, she has no regard for you. So don't say you are being disrespected. You are not productive. You are not creative. You are, there's nothing. When you, when you step up and become mentally creative, you become productive. She wants to take a step and decision. She has to wait because she knows that one counsel from you will take away all her mental instability, all her indecisiveness. She will be able to listen. She will respect you. That's all. So a man has to increase his capacity continually to remain a husband, not a hunchback. Many of you do not know, those of you at the call of God, even if you miss it in ministry, God can pardon you. But if you miss it in family, God cannot pardon you. When Adam missed it, Adam was no more the part of the garden where God kept him. That's why God said, Adam, where are thou? Is that true? The almighty God, the all-knowing God, you think he will, look, he will need to look for Adam? He knew where Adam should be. But why did God ask Adam, where are thou? Because Adam was not where he was supposed to be. What was the debate? It was debate of marriage. If you miss it in marriage, marriage is older than sin. Marriage is the oldest institution. If you get married to the right person, you have, you have, you have won 80% of the battles of life. If you marry the wrong person, you, are the, you, you become the weapon fashioned against yourself. Nobody should come between you and your family. Any form of attempt to separate you and your wife, to cause a division between you and your husband, even if it's for a day, the damage it will do, you may not recover it for a year. Never get to any point in life where you are detached from your wife, detached from your husband, for those who are married. The breakdown of society is on the platform of breakdown of families. Who are the criminals we see today? Who are the crooks we see? Who are the robbers we see? People who are dysfunctional families. Husband and wife, they do what they do. There's crisis. A young man woke, grew up and saw the father hitting the mother. So he became abusive because of the pictures that he saw. When a young man grows up in an environment, he has never seen the father lift up his hand on the mother. Has never seen the mother insult the father. Where will they learn from? So most of you now, husband and wife that are quarreling, fighting, you are raising potential terrorists. You are raising abusive children. You quarrel your, as a man, you are not, you are so shameless. You quarrel, insult your wife, insult her father, insult her mother. And now you are, you are angry that your son that is, is insulting people's parents in school. He's following the mentor. I've told men, as if you react to everything a woman does, you won't live longer. There are some things a woman, I'm telling you how to stay in peace. There are some things you don't react to. It. There are things, in fact, in life, to succeed, there are things you don't react to. And as a woman, if you want to have a good home, there are some things you should be blind to. If you try to see too much, you will see spirits. There are some things you should see, eh? just come out eye. For the sake of your own peace. You will see some things like this. <laughs> come out eye, or you will see spirits. And as a man, there are things you have to ignore. You have to see. Women behave like, see, eh? sometimes they'll just do some things. You just look like this. Sometimes they can just sit down like and just react. It's like a woman that's pregnant. Have you, have you stayed around the pregnant woman? Different pregnancy, different characters. If a man has had like four, five, six, seven children, he's a man. Because different pregnancy come with different... You, you can just sit down like you have a wife who you want to eat something. You run, you bite, you come back. You ask you, why did you bite? You've got to learn to ignore. That is why when in marriage counseling, they, they check your capacity. It's a check of your capacity. Your capacity.